It's the fastest, most powerful two-door coupe that Bentley make. Yes, I said Bentley, who say if you like driving far and fast and find 625 horsepower makes your heart race, this is your car. Well, this Continental GT Speed must be my car then. It's just the £151,000 price tag getting in the way of it sitting in my drive on a more permanent basis. Shame, but today we can have some fun. Let's appreciate its beauty. It looks fast even when it's not moving. Indulge your eyes with those striking 21 inch alloys, lowered suspension and sleek contours. Just to add an element of suspense, we're not going to drive it yet. We have to cover the essential car by practicality tests, starting with the boot. It's large enough to fit two small suitcases or a set of golf clubs, but I'm not a golfer, I'm a racing driver, so I'm going to put my kit in here. because I won't need to wear a fireproof race suit and crash helmet for this powerful cruiser, as it's equipped with plenty of airbags and safety systems to protect you. And that's because it is a Grand Tourer or GT, which means it provides everyday comfort for long journeys. And I can confirm that these seats do exactly that. They are large and upholstered with this supremely soft quilted leather. Combine that with the handcrafted wood and aluminium and this interior feels very exclusive. Well, it also passes the car by at the big bottle test and a clever little storage for sunglasses and under the armrest there as well. And it's good to see that the infotainment system is much improved over the previous model. It is touchscreen, digital radio, and it comes with inbuilt memory of 15 gigabytes for all of your favorite tunes. But we don't want to listen to the sound system now. I've already done that and I assure you it is pretty good. We want to hear the W12 engine in action. First though, we need to appreciate just how smooth and bump absorbing it is. Long journeys are almost effortless and further enhanced by brilliant soundproofing. It does 0 to 60 in just four seconds and is capable of 205 miles an hour. <laughs> I just love the noise it makes. And that power is running through an eight-speed automatic gearbox with Le Mans-style paddle shifts. I think we need the German Autobahn for this car. Its improved dynamics mean it feels more agile than the outgoing model. And this is thanks to a new chassis, a revised electronic stability program that allows you to explore traction limits without making it unsafe, and lowered suspension. It's putting a smile on my face, yes, but if you want a more involving drive, you may wish to try the more nimble, lighter rear-wheel drive Ferrari California. Nothing's perfect after all, and this bad boy is going to set you back a pretty penny to run. It does 19.5 mpg, driving carefully, and with an options list as long as your arm, that £151,000 price tag I mentioned comes in at 175 on this car. That's the price of a house. Then there's the back seats. They're a little cramped. Well, not for five foot four and a half me. And it's better to not have any at all. I mean, you could use them to put your handbag on whilst you're enjoying that W12. And as for that issue of cost, well, let's be honest, if you're looking at one of these, that's not really going to be high up on the priority list, is it? Carbon ceramic brakes and black brake calipers for £10,200 is well within budget.
The Bentley Continental GT Speed claims to be a devastatingly fast, smooth and rewarding Grand Tourer. Well, on those grounds then, it is forgiven and for today, this is my car.